And welcome back to Half Moon Customs. We're over here at Gerald Moon's checking out his place. Um, right behind me, you got Gerald Moon. We've, uh, what we're doing is we're picking up uh, some tools. He's got a bead roller, he's got an English wheel, a uh, shrinker stretcher, some stuff that I didn't have in my shop. And uh, he's contributed to the project. That way we can kind of get this thing together. So I'm over here picking it up. I'm about an hour away from uh, where we're at. So, uh, Go ahead, Gerald, tell us about what you got going on. Well, I got a few projects already started before me and John started this whole crazy journey. Uh, the first project is 71, I already crown vicked it. Uh, this is kind of going to be a road course truck because I'm going to whip John Mustangs with it <laughs> and uh, try to anyway. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> but I got uh, a 2011 front end. I got... Uh, 98 mark 8 rear end i'm gonna put under it. it's not done by any means yeah, yet it's just kind of loosely setting in yeah it's just laying underneath there but you've already got the crown vic sub front end pretty put much done under. other than these corners i like to uh, box them all in i use the regular pieces from the crown vic and i just make them fit yeah talk to them a little bit about that because i know a lot of guys end up doing these uh subs they they put a box and weld everything in. Gerald doesn't do all that. Gerald goes to the junkyard and he just cuts everything off. He tries to get the whole front half of the frame off and then he comes back to the shop and he cuts it up into sections yeah. to actually box the frame. He makes it a very strong setup once he's done. And yeah. I mean, look at all the money he's saving, guys. He's got the Crown Vic, uh, he's got the uh, uh, support from the steering shaft from the Crown Vic. And, uh, what he does is he just connects all that up. You uh, take that flange off of the bottom of the column and you just adapt it, weld it on and make it fit. And then he comes in and boxes the, the frame with the uh, original with Crown Vic. Crown Vic. Frame. And it, it fills, fills this up too. I like the fact that it kind of fills it up. Right. And I really like how you put in a pipe there to, to support the front of the frame. Yeah, I usually leave them. Now I didn't leave them on, on the uh, on the super cab but i i usually leave them now the the maroon one does have the bar in it still but i took it out of the super cab because it was really strong to begin with right i've heard some guys complain about the sway bar like when they hit a bump that it they get some steering input back on the crown vic swap trucks because the frame's so thin yeah i get I guess it helps support the frame, you know, if you leave in a, a pipe or some kind of support. Well, a lot of guys use that this hole here. They move it too far forward. I really like putting it right below the uh, the radiator support bushing in that little oval shaped hole. If you just egg it out, you can slide, slide a full in, piece of yeah. DOM tubing or whatever you've got. You can slide that right through there. Yeah, you, you did a nice job on yours too. Yeah. Yep. But so, it's, it's, it's pretty sturdy. It ain't going nowhere. And then this is my uh, 55 panel truck. It's Crown Vic also. John says I Crown Vic everything, which I do. Yeah, you're a big Crown Vic guy, and I don't uh, blame you. I widened the back fender because I put a Durango rear end because I like the big disc brakes it had. So it's a, wait a second, what year model Dodge Durango rear end? It's a 04. Okay. Uh, they're both 04s. 04 Crown Vic and 04 Durango. So the bolt pattern, the wheel bolt pattern on it matches the front Crown Vic, right? No, it's actually bigger. The wheels I bought, oh, okay. I bought a bigger set of wheels. Okay. I'm a big wheel guy too, like John really loves. Yeah. Yeah, but. he's always jumping at me because I'm a big uh, five-spoke fan. I like the <laughs> torque thrust twos and all that sort of stuff that you see. Yeah, I, I got 22s on the back and 20s on the front, just like my maroon truck. It's got 22s on the front are on the back and 20s on the front yeah this is the bronco project kind of buried so so gerald's shop is uh is actually at his house he's got a little two bay <laughs> we could barely call it two bay yeah but he's got basically all of his tools and everything stuffed in that that's the reason why we're working out of my my shop <laughs> yeah I, I work in the driveway fellas I, and most people do i understand but 
I, I've never had a big shop. He, he's got a he's got a garage to store his tools in. <laughs> yeah, works pretty in the driveway. much. Yeah, but I mean, all of this stuff, guys, that he's putting in, like these uh, Crown Vic clips and everything. He, this is driveway stuff. I mean, he's, yeah. he's cutting stuff apart out here, outside. My neighbors love it sometimes, but yeah, I think you've been they asked real happy a couple times if you've got a junkyard going. Yeah, or not, the, so. the guy down here asked me if I had a junkyard started. <laughs> I said I might. <laughs> It don't uh, don't look at my mess. I had to dig all that uh, working uh, stuff out, so I moved a lot of stuff around. I got motors in there, the yeah, car trucks in there. We made you more room now. You might actually be able to do. I might do something. Uh, yeah, you'll just move more junk inside. The Probably. Shop. <laughs> I'll buy more stuff. <laughs> I'm a borderline hoarder. Yeah, but so, this, that's my super cab. It's Crown Vic. Now, what your model is this truck? This is a dent side, obviously. Yeah, it's a 75. Okay. Uh, it's got a 05 Crown Vic on the front and a 95 rear end. I kind of keep trying to keep the same end years for some reason. I don't know why that is, but it's 5 on 5. That's 4 on 4. So, it's got the same wheels as the other truck, which everybody loves. I got a couple nice comments from fellas that live around here about the <laughs> wheels john started it though yeah i did start that but that's, that's my fault but i need to flare the wheels that they rub a little bit on the chrome but it I, the transmission went out on me and I, I was driving this pretty much every other day i was taking turns with the maroon and blue so what happened on this one again the transmission oh went the out. torque converter went out of it and blew out transmission fluid all over my driveway as you can see I made it home, but by the time I made it home, it was gushing. <laughs> <laughs> Had trans fluid everywhere. Yeah. So yeah, this has got, what is it, a FE in it? Yeah, it's got a, a 360 in it. 360 FE, um, C6, automatic. Um, all my family like to throw all the trash in it. It's the garbage truck. Yeah, it's a garbage Everybody's truck. Everybody's got to have a garbage truck. I mean, if you don't live in the city limits where you got, you know, access to all that. I know yeah. my, my high boy is the garbage truck. Um, it's just the way it <laughs> the way goes. It goes on yeah. it. But we'll we'll walk in here and I'll show you the back of this thing. Y'all can see somewhat uh, started. Daily back there in the back, the the bump side just hanging out. Gerald's got all kinds of cool crap laying around. Yeah. And don't talk about the ramp truck around here. <laughs> yeah, no talking about a ramp truck, truck in around this area. here. There's a. Uh, it's a. Uh, it's still a secret. That's still a little bit of a secret. Yeah, on this. so far. As y'all can see, we've got these tools. We've got our uh, English wheel. We've got a bead roller. We got a shrinker stretcher. Gerald's got all the good stuff, and uh, of course, got a bag of garbage. Just like I said, this is a garbage truck. Still, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah. So I, I just wanted to kind of show y'all the that. buried Bronco project. Yeah. So. Gerald's got, um, it's like we got a 68 grill. He's got a bump, uh, dent side hood on it. <laughs> yeah. Is that the plan you're going to use that? No, hood? I got a dent side hood out here. A bump side hood out there. Or bump side hood out okay, here. Okay, I got you. Yeah. So he's got a really nice cab um, to start with. Super dry, rust free. I know you northern guys, y'all don't have that option. I actually had a guy message me <laughs> after we were cutting the, uh, the back half out of the green one for the crew cab. He messaged me and was like, hey, man, what are you going to do with all of that that roof? And so um, we're actually going to uh, send it to him. He's going to give me uh, enough to cover the shipping, and we're going to get it sent out to him. That way he can, we can help him with his project. Man, we're that's just, cool. We're just trying, you know, these are parts that are going to end up in a scrapyard anyway. I mean, I'd much rather let somebody else get some use out of it. Yeah, me too. There, here's the motor that's going to smack John right here. Yeah, he thinks anyway. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I got I got to go through it yet. You better beef it up some. I'll go, I got I'll go drive beef I it got up 347 all forged internals. Well, yeah, it, it waiting might, on you. It might only be about 250 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Gerald's a bit of a hoarder, y'all. I, I think Well, I, I collect is, toys. What's buried down here? That is a 1928 Durant Star. <laughs> 19 Where? Right there, tub. <laughs> there. Yeah, in oh, there somewhere. Okay, if you say so. 
Yeah, well, you can see the door right here. See? Oh, yeah. You can see the door. I would. I never would have noticed that had you not spotted it. Yeah. You, know, you pointed out. Well, it's kind of got buried over the years. I've had it a while. It's got a Mustang 2 suspension under it. I put a Mustang 2 under it. Wow. So, I boxed the frame all the way back to here. I worked on a little bit. So I even got a big windshield right there, John. Oh, yeah, I see it now. <laughs> see it? I collect toys and all kinds of what stuff. What do you got back there in the back corner? That's like a casino uh, yeah, slot machine. Slot machine. <laughs> That's cool. I got a Pepsi Coke machine up here. I used to keep my beer in until I quit drinking. <laughs> I, I started buying more parts and then quit drinking. A man has to have a vice. Yeah. And uh, you can't have too many vices at one time or you'll just absolutely go broke. Yeah. I mean. I had to make a decision. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, collecting old old trucks and stuff is not a bad idea. No, my wife wishes I'd go back to drinking sometimes. <laughs> she wishes you'd go back to drinking. Yeah, sometimes. So, so this is the uh, the Bronco the project. project. So what he's got, he's got the, uh, of course, the front half and the cab doors. Then what he's done is, is he's cut yeah. the back half out, as y'all can see, a lot like what we did on the, uh, the uh, primered cab that I've got. And then he's got... Uh, bedsides uh short wall based bedsides you cut off of a donor that had yeah the floor is gone look, issues. right there john look at that it's just gone yeah it was just swiss cheese i'm sure y'all can relate we've seen plenty of them like that yeah. I, a lot of times it's underneath a flat piece of metal and all that so y'all might be wondering like where this name for this uh this channel came from so gerald is uh gerald is of course his last name's moon and uh he's had this uh this half moon custom stuff going for a while. Yeah. And uh, as y'all can see, where you see the logo. Yeah, I actually painted that myself. Oh. Drawed it and painted I it. I didn't know you painted it yourself. Yeah, I painted it. I'm a little bit of a dabble of artist. Well, that's I even, I even did the flame on the table. Oh yeah. See it? That's cool. And it's got a Buick wheel on it. Oh, I just dumped, dumped that everywhere. It's made out of Spare parts. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I think that's a theme going right now. Is yeah. Just everything well, I've spare. always I've always done that. Yeah. To I be mean, honest, nothing wrong with that. There, there's another 302 that's going in the in the 55 back there. Where's the LS engine? I ain't. There ain't no LS in there. <laughs> ain't got any LS. No, there just won't be guys. none of that. Yeah, Dad, I found the north side. Yeah, the north side. I ain't put it up 59 yet. 59 Ranger grill. Yeah. Two Got of them. <laughs> two of them? <laughs> two of them. Ah, oh, you're killing me, man. Yeah, well. So see, Gerald likes to see, do... See, look, I have got the, the the headlight buckets. Yeah. Yeah, I've had guys that message me looking for those. Oh, I know. I, I was there, that the guy that wanted one, remember? Yeah. yeah, that guy come all the way from uh, Nashville to try to find one. So, uh, I don't know if y'all noticed. I probably didn't even pan around there and show y'all. So talk to us, Gerald, about what this dash is. That's out of a 64 and a half Galaxy. I was going to call the Bronco the Galaxy Custom. The Galaxy Custom. Because of being moon, I guess, basically. I got you. I was going to take the custom emblem off the back of a Ford. And I got emblems over here. Y'all notice he does have bucket seats. Oh. He's planning on putting in this. Go that way. Go that way. That Galaxy that dash, way. man. Yeah. That is cool. What what year model Galaxy did this come out of? 64 and a half. 64 and a half. Yeah, and, and I'm going to put these on the sides. you got to watch where oh. I'm walking. I'm going to end up. Yeah, you got to watch where you step in it's here. It's hard to film and walk. Yeah, you got to watch where you step. But these are going on the sides of the bed. And then I'm going to put the custom out here. It's all script. Yeah. And the crowns for the Crown Vic. It's already Crown Vic also. Oh, that's true. I didn't even think about that. That's a that's cool. Yeah. You'll have a Crown Vic clip. You'll have the Crown Vic badges. Yeah, and it's got the 08 Crown Vic in the rear. Okay. Yeah, it's all the frame's pretty much done. I sent you a picture of that. I know you said you might do like a side shot. Yeah, I'll see if I that. can insert that in to the video. This is one of those shops, guys. You just, or garages rather, you just kind of get in it and you look around and you go. Yeah, I started out. The longer out, you look, the Mustangs. more you find. 
I started out in Mustangs. That was my big thing, doing Mustangs at one time. Actually, my dream Mustang's a, a 69, which I've never owned. I, I painted this in high school. Oh. I don't know what it is. This is a pig path is what this is. Uh, yeah, it's a pig pen. <laughs> but I painted that in high school. Oh, wow. Yeah. How cool is that? My art teacher didn't like it too well. No, I bet she didn't. Well, it was a he. He didn't like it. He yeah. didn't like that uh, leopard print on the back. No, he said, couldn't you do something else? I said, no, leopard was in. Well, you could have just done nothing. Well, and yeah. Then he, then he really would have liked yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, he would have liked that. <laughs> but I collect license plates. Yeah, I've had license plates. More license plates. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so also notice the half moon. He's got a half moon uh, half moon license plates. Yeah. Half moon. Is this, a, this is a Coke machine running. Yeah, it, it works. What's it got in it? It's got moonshine in it right now moonshine. but i ain't drank it for a while uh it's just fermenting in there yeah it's it's in there i've been here twice how many years though have you been here this you last time's been seven years seven years yeah the first time was five almost got gotcha. you i just love it down here yeah this is a great state to live in well like me i work out in the driveway and i work in the winter time out in the driveway yeah, so, so <laughs> definitely a warmer climate. Is, yeah, is definitely warmer where I come from. You need to find somewhere that ain't got 100% humidity, though, because... Yeah, man, it's warm am, right now. I am roasting. I get There's a gas pump project over there, another John. Crown Vic cradle laying here, another... Uh, what is that, a Crown Vic axle? Yeah, right that's out of a 70... Or 95. <laughs> that was for my crew cab, mega cab. Oh, yeah, yeah. So... Gerald has, like we said in some previous videos, he had been planning on doing a crew cab for a couple of years now, and uh, yeah, so he's he's collecting. I've parts. been collecting parts, but then again, so have I. I mean, we both yeah, are into we this both sort of stuff. But you got a bigger garage. When you said let's do it, I said I'll buy a 351 modified. It's already redone in this thing. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Opened up the hood a little bit, maybe. You might be able to see it. Oh, yeah. It's not bad for a, kind of a turd of a motor. Yeah, it, actually, <laughs> it's got pretty good horsepower. Does it? Yeah. That 351M is just kind of known as a... Kind well, of a, it's been going through bigger pistons all nine yards. Okay. All you right. know, Gerald, I'm, I'm going to have to steal those 71 inserts. What? Yeah, because I need those. Oh, no. I need those badly. Yeah, everybody and their brother wants those. In all seriousness, guys, if y'all got, got a good nice grill. set of 71 inserts, man, it's I am, got, I'm interested. This thing's almost perfect grill. It's got one little ding over there. Yeah, that is. It's a nice grill. Yep. I've got a good grill, but I just can't find those inserts anywhere. I hate to say this, but I traded the 50 Chevy pickup for this. Really? Yeah, I had a Chevy car, truck. Okay, we won't talk about that. Yeah, we ain't going to talk about that. I don't blame you. I would trade it for a Ford also. Well, I, I figured I could do it a whole lot cheaper than... I could do this a whole lot cheaper than what I could do that Chevy for. Well, it does help whenever you've got uh, a lot of the same type generation trucks and stuff. You can kind of switch things back and forth, and that helps a lot. Yeah. All right, guys, so I'm back here on the back half of Gerald's shop. You can see the... Uh, this is a short bed truck he's got out back and uh this is the one he was actually thinking about making a mega crew cab um it's a it's got a pretty nice little topper on it he says that the side on on the other side it is the windows are busted out but it is a short bed short wheel base topper i i told him i was like that that could be straightened out it could be used i mean a lot of guys are looking for these in a short wheel base they're they're very hard to find but uh who knows, eventually he'll get to it. I mean, you know, with everything he's got around front, there's no telling when, <laughs> but y'all stick around. All right, guys, so just kind of close out. Uh... <laughs> well, I'll introduce this fella first. This is uh, Binks. He's a uh, full-blooded beagle. As you can see, he's very excited about all this YouTube stuff that's going on. And uh, so just wanted to close out today. We're going to show you uh, 
you know, Gerald's shop and what he's got going on, especially since we had to go get some tools and pick those up. I've been working on this, slaving away at this door, trying to get it all uh, straightened up, welded, getting the jam finished out in here. And uh, so tomorrow we got a full day ahead. We're gonna try to, to surge on. We're gonna try to finish the uh, rest of this B pillar behind me. We've uh, got the bead roller and we're gonna work on trying to get all this sheet metal cut to match the, uh, the uh, body line. There's actually a body line down in the bottom half of the door. If you're familiar with the bump side, it's got a uh, it's got a body line in the bottom of the door frame. We're going to try to mirror that into our B pillar. It's going to be a learning experience for both of us. Um, I mean, I, I really have zero experience with a bead roller and a, a shrinker stretcher and a English wheel, but I've watched some videos. I've tried to learn a little bit about it. I've studied it for a while, but. It's all going to be new. It's new to us. Uh, we are uh, we're a new channel, and uh, we are so thankful for the support that y'all have gave us so far. Uh, we are just overwhelmed. The last video we've made, I think at this point we're at 150k views on it. So obviously y'all love what we're doing, and we love that y'all are watching it and uh, supporting us. So we're going to have some growing pains as this channel goes forward. Um, obviously, if y'all saw in this video, we've got mics now, and so our mics are hopefully going to help us produce better videos that y'all will enjoy, and maybe you won't have hear the fan running and all that sort of stuff in the background as much. So, um, anyway, like, share, and subscribe. We really appreciate everything that y'all are doing, and we're going to keep doing what y'all like. <laughs>